Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Pokemon Swoosh. Last time we returned to Hammerlock and saw some cutscenes and stuff, uh, we fulfilled a ghost's unfinished business and so she passed on to the netherworld or whatever, uh, and now we're trying to get to Route 7. <laughs> That's pretty much where we're at. Uh, Perserka? Oh my. Hello, Perserka. Um... What type are you? I don't know. I'll try Snipe Shot. There's a bunch of stuff in this route that I haven't caught yet by the looks of things. You might remember last video I was catching a whole bunch of stuff. That was too much. <sighs> well, at least I'll know what type it is next time, which will make it a bit easier. Uh, by the way, we can't go this way. Team Yell are blocking it. And it's apparently completely impossible to get past them. Hello. Being a taxi driver means I've got to be ready anytime, anywhere. Pokemon battles are the same. Anytime, anywhere. Are you a taxi driver? What? What? You're wearing like an aviator's outfit. By Cabby Bruce. Corvusquire. Okay. Oh, that's like a dark flying, I think. It's no match for my starter. <laughs> ba -da -ba -dum. Remove charge, probably. What's it do? Use a boost to have the electric moves on the next turn. This also raises these a special defense stat. That sounds good. I might, maybe I'll drop nuzzle because it's really, really weak. And then just power up my sparks with charge. Ba -da -ba -dum. Rufflet. Uh, we can leave that out. I think that's another bird. It is another bird. Oh, it's adorable. Oh, I would be its friend. Sorry, little bird. Kind of weird that it doesn't tell you anything about the Pokemon you're about to see apart from their name. Especially since some of them, like Vulpix, can have completely different types and the same name. So, like, hmm. I'm not sure they thought that through super well. Yeah, give me those berries. Hmm. Thanks, berries. And then all the ones that were in the tree have disappeared for some reason. Okay. He is Inkay. What type are you, Inkay? I should not theoretically know because I've defeated one of you. Uh, U-turn is super effective. That's the opposite of what I want to do. Uh, let's switch to something a bit weaker. Do I anything that's not very effective? Doesn't look like it. But if I use a weaker, like, uh, Pokemon in general, that'll work. So, I'll just bring you back, Cynthia. Go, Gareth. Puppy. Foul play. Ooh. Ooh, that's powerful. Uh, crunch. Hmm. I'm not sure how retaliate is supposed to work. I think I'm doing it wrong somehow. Fire fang. Okay, perfect. Yeah, Gareth is gonna faint because of that. That's okay. Inkay was caught! Inkay's data will be added to the Pokedex. 
By exposing foes to the blinking light, blinking of its luminescent spots, Inke demoralizes them and seizes the chance to flee. Oh, it's Dark Psychic. I assumed it would be Water type, but it's not. Interesting. Uh, I'm gonna call you. Wumi. <laughs> oh, there we are. Kitty. Hello, Kitty. Want to do a little bit of damage. They try to do the same move to me. All right. <laughs> Bam. Okay, that should do the trick. Come here, kitty. Ah, I'll just try- I'll throw another one, it should be fine. sure what to do with the nickname. I've got a couple of ideas. This stealthy Pokemon sneaks up behind prey without making any sound at all. It competes with Thievil for territory. Hmm. Okay. Uh, if it fits, I think I'll go with this one. Yeah, I think it'll fit. There we go. Selena Kyle. Da 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 Okay, um, I think I've caught most most of the stuff in this area now. Mm. Keep my eyes peeled just in case, but let's just drop back at the Pokemon Center. I think we've caught most of the stuff we were supposed to be catching. Ride your bike into the Pokemon Center. Is that something different? Oh, I think it is. Hello. Oh, I think we may already have a more Pico. Oh, maybe we don't. Um, let's try snipe shot. That'll probably take it out though. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, I'll have to keep that in mind. Oh, are we going to Route 8? Yeah, it looks like it. Route 8. Oh, this is different. Um, something going on here. What's this? Oh, it's this. It's it's a it's a Vullaby. Okay. Um, it's quite small. <laughs> I got the impression it was a bit larger than that, but no, it's tiny. 
Ooh, yep, that worked great. Tailwind. I don't know what Tailwind does. Quick. Yeah. But Libby was caught. Vullaby grow quickly. Bones that have gotten too small for older Vullaby to wear off to wear. Oh, to wear. Right, I see. L like a Q-bone. Uh, to wear often get passed down to younger ones in the nest. Um... I don't know, it just felt right. This looks like a complicated route. Hello! I shall now closely examine the health of your Pokémon. And reduce it. This is a threat. You are challenged by Dr. Joanna. Roselia. Oh, adorable. Look at that little cutie. Um, I mean, I assume you're strong against water moves. I'll try Sucker Punch. It failed. Leech Seed. Hmm. That's not good. Uh, let's put out a fire type. Uh, probably Carl. Big feet. Okay, they have magical leaf. That makes sense. Uh, and they're faster than me, but I think I can probably get faster uh, by using Flame Charge, which is why I'm using it. It's super effective. Speed Rose, yeah. Hatchroom, that's fairy type, I think? Um, I'll try Flame Charge, but... It's probably not going to be super great. Dazzling Gleam. It's not very effective. Alright, the Leech Seed is still active. That's annoying. Maybe I should have switched. Psybeam. Maybe it's Psychic and not Fairy. I, I know a lot of Psychic types look like that. It's like the um, Pony Tower in this game. Calm Mind? Special attack, special defense. Oh, I see. I guess that's useful. Goodbye, Hatrum. When Pokémon aren't healthy, it drags our mood down too. Money! When people are healthy, they tend not to realize how valuable that health is. Yeah, you got a point. I guess that's true. Uh, hello. A wild girder. Uh, alright, if you say so. Uh, snipe shot? I don't, I don't know what type you are. Fighting, maybe? Or rock? Or rock fighting? Well, I wasn't super effective, so you're not rock. Hmm.
Seriously? Um, I can try U-turn, maybe. I don't know what type it is, so that might just kill it. It didn't. Okay. Puppy. Okay. Now that's gotta be a catch, right? Yeah, okay. <sighs> Bada -bada. Gerda excelled fighting, just fighting. Demolition. Construction is not its forte. In any case, there's skill in the way this Pokemon wields its metal beam. Um... I'm not gonna call this. Hmm. Pylon. I don't know. <laughs> it's just a another similar piece of equipment or construction or whatever. What's this? A shiny stone. A peculiar stone that can make certain species of Pokemon evolve. It shines with a dazzling light. Interesting. Mm, there's an annoying amount of stuff I need to catch here. <laughs> Probably got one of those. The way this route is laid out is very confusing. Uh, do I want to go this way or the other way? Like, I don't know which one's the side path, and I don't want to miss anything. Okay, this is a side path. TM96 Smart Strike. User stabs the target with a sharp horn, so attack never misses. Sounds pretty good. I mean, it's probably not super powerful. Stuff that never misses usually isn't great. Like Magic Missile, for example, which is absolute garbage. Oh, it's Dusclops. I've heard of you. I think you're Dark type, but I'm not sure. You're exerting its pressure. I don't. I don't know what that does. Uh, I'll try a snipe shot, I guess. But I, don't, I just. I don't really know what you're vulnerable to. Uh, that worked. Uh, now you're using curse. Are you a ghost? Maybe you're a ghost. Oh, come on. That's just rude. Three Hyper Potions. I do like Hyper Potions. I don't know if I can really be bothered to catch everything. It's just, there's so much stuff in this new route and it's getting annoying. <laughs> oh, what have we got here? Pawniard. Okay, I, I don't know what type you're supposed to be. Are you fighting? Okay, apparently it's something I already know about, but I don't know what it is. Uh, I'll try snipe shotting you and hopefully that won't kill you. We'll see. No, never mind. Alright. <sighs> this would be much easier with false swipe, but I think you have to get that by TM. Ooh, takedown. Damages the user a little, but it does a lot of damage. Hmm. Might replace Retaliate, because Retaliate isn't working very well. I think it's because I was using it wrong. <laughs> uh, but it is a bit situational. Oh, it's Phalanx! Oh, I've heard of this one. Cute. Uh, let's see if we can get it. It's a bunch of little Kirby's. 
But I know what Endure does. Oh, it gives you Sturdy. That's super helpful when I'm trying to catch you. Thanks so much. Uh, really? Uh, I'll try it again. There we go. Phalanx was caught. Formation Pokémon. The six of them work together as one Pokémon. Teamwork is also their battle strategy, and they constantly change their formation as they fight. Yeah, I'll give them a nickname. Uh... Okay. Well, a, a Phalanx was like an ancient... was like, you know, uh, an ancient battle strategy back when people were using, you know, pikes and stuff. Uh, I'm gonna go with... I'm gonna call him Zagreus. <laughs> There we go. I mean, there's six of them, so it doesn't super make sense to name them after one character, but... I, I like Zagreus. Luxury Ball. A particularly comfortable Pokeball that makes a wild Pokemon quickly grow friendlier after being caught. Uh, alright. I guess that's something. Oh, Dusclops, it's you again. Um... I guess I'll try to damage you less in case you curse yourself. I, I don't know. Uh, let's U turn. Just do a little bit of damage. And then, in theory, you should try to curse yourself next, right? Uh, let's send out. Natalie! Oh, look at that cutie. Will O Wisp. That's. That's not curse. Uh, I'll try bite. Hopefully I'm low enough level that it won't do too much. Mean look. That's not curse either. <sighs> Rude. Fingers crossed, huh? Oh, yep, good. Good. Flinched and couldn't move. Yes, perfect. Give me a Dusclops. Hmm. Stuff is really wasting all my Ultra Balls at this stage of the game. It's very annoying. Seriously? Wow, it didn't do anything. <sighs> Is Dusclops just immune to being caught? What's going on here? It's at quite low health. Okay, now it's using Curse, which is going to kill it. <sighs> Heckin' Dusclops. Move Soak, yeah, probably. What is it? User shoots a torrent of water at the target and changes the target's type to water. Interesting. Um, I don't think I can really make use of that. It doesn't do any damage, it just changes their type to water. Um, I guess I could switch to something with electric after doing that, but it doesn't seem very helpful. Hmm... I, I don't think I want that.
Max revive. Uh, hello. Oh, you're pretty. You can compare life to a journey, but the end of your life isn't the same as a journey's goal. Maybe I'm near the end of the route because I'm not really enjoying it. There's like a whole bunch of Pokemon around that I can't catch for some reason, and it's frustrating. Liquidation. It's not very effective, but it still did the trick. Uh, Vullaby? Yeah, we can just keep ourselves out. Vullaby. It's no big deal. It's a little birdie. Even if you fail, it's not the end. You can stand up and fight back. You got money. Found a big nugget. It can be sold at a high price to shops. Uh, I've got to walk through here, don't I? I just don't really want to bother. <laughs> My live concert is open to all, and you'll be attending. You're challenged by Musician Charles. This is quite a character. Talk to tomorrow. It's basically the Pikachu of this game. <laughs> They've made a whole lot of Pikachus in different generations, it's pretty funny. Since he was hurt somehow, even though that was a ranged attack. That's all you had? Hmm, guess the rhythm between me and my partner was off. Sorry, Charles. Uh, that's another phalanx. I don't need another phalanx. I already caught one. What are they weak to? Let's get rid of it. Oh, that almost worked. Goodbye, Phalanx. <laughs> Running kind of low on resources at this point. A King's Rock, held by a Pokémon. When the holder successfully inflicts damage, the target may also flinch. It makes every move into Bite? That's kind of interesting. Okay, here we go. That's gotta be the next town, right? No, there's more. It's really cold now for some reason. Uh, there's some Vanilluxes. I'll come back here once I've visited the Pokemon Center, because the town is just here. Kirchester. <sighs> It, we went from like a desert environment to it snowing. How, how do the biomes work in this place? It's so weird. Uh, anyway, let's go to the Pokemon Center. And we're at a half hour, so... Um... I'll, I guess I'll go back and revisit those bits of Route 8 I skipped over. Uh, and try to catch some stuff next video. It's just... Yeah, I was I was getting a bit burnt out on this. I did two videos in a row, and uh, it got frustrating. <laughs> uh, but that's it for now. 
Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next time, yeah, I'll backtrack to Route 7 and Route 8 again, make sure I get the things I missed. Uh, and then we're gonna actually check out Kirchester properly. Uh, I might just have a quick look and see if there's like a clothing shop here, because getting more clothes would be cool. Uh, I mean, it's it's nice, nice sort of design. It's not as pretty as Balan Lee, which was gorgeous. Uh, that's a clothes shop, so yeah, there, there's some more clothes here. Another hairdressers. I don't know if they give you different styles in different towns. You sure do. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!